Good morning, cruise news time for you today. July 1st, just days away from, from more cruise ships sailing in the United States. Got some good cruise stories for you today. Got three, Florida governor signs bill that overrides cruise ships in Key West. Royal Caribbean cruise update on ships and protocols. And Carnival Cruise Line, well, let's talk about the buffet. So, let's start with the... Uh, Let's start with the Florida governor, uh, Bill DeSantis. You know, he has voided the Senate Bill 1194, uh, which would ban ships from Key West. Uh, obviously, this is great news for, for cruise ships uh, that, that want to port there in Key West. You know, I, I, I did not know why they decided not to have cruise ships there to begin with, uh, you know, some of the locals there. But, you know, just like any anybody, that would be detrimental to the economy there. Uh, so the senator there has, uh, Ron DeSantis, has uh, voided uh, the ban. So, you know, now it's back to the, the Senate to decide whether or not they want to try to do something new with that and and bring it back to them. Uh, next, let's talk about Royal Caribbean Cruises, you know, their ships and protocols. Uh, as we know, the um, Adventure of the Seas has been sailing out of North America, uh, out of Nassau, Bahamas, uh, and currently uh, week-long cruises in the Caribbean. Uh, but now we have approved for simulated sailings, Allure of the Seas. Uh, we'll do theirs July 27th out of Port Canaveral, Symphony of the Seas August 1st out of Port Miami, Independence of the Seas August 1st out of Port Galveston, Mariner of the Seas August 11th out of Port Canaveral, uh, Serenade of the Seas July 7th out of Port Seattle, and Oasis of the Seas, August 27th, from Cape Liberty. Uh, those ships are, like I said, approved for simulated sailings. Uh, those are going to be uh, two-night sailings, uh, and they're going to go to different places, obviously, because they're different uh, areas of the country. Uh, then we have scheduled to begin actual cruises. Freedom of the Seas on three and four nights. Uh, Bahamas and Perfect Day at Coco Cay sailings from Miami. Those start tomorrow, July 2nd. Uh, Odyssey of the Seas are going on six and eight night southern and western Caribbean cruises out of Fort Lauderdale starting July 31st. Serenade of the Seas are going on uh, the seven night Alaska sailings from Seattle starting July 19th. Allure of the Seas is going to be doing seven-night Eastern and Western Caribbean itineraries from Port Canaveral starting August 8th. Ovation of the Seas is also going to be doing seven-night Alaska itineraries from Seattle starting August 13th. Symphony of the Seas, seven-night Eastern and Western Caribbean sailings from Miami starting August 14th. Independence of the Seas, seven-night Western Caribbean sailings from Galveston, Texas starting August 15th. Mariner of the Seas are going to be doing three- and four-night Bahamas and Perfect Day at Coco Cay starting from Port Canaveral on August 23rd. And the new Oasis, or Odyssey of the Seas, uh, which only recently arrived in the U.S. for the very first time, was uh, previously scheduled to begin cruising on July 3rd out of Fort Lauderdale. However, because of the crew members that did test positive on the ship, the Royal Caribbean decided to delay the inaugural cruise till July 31st. Um... So, you know, that's the, that's the update on Royal Caribbean. Let's talk about some Carnival and the Buffet. Great news there for people uh, because Carnival is doing fully vaccinated cruises. Uh, they are choosing to have a self-serve buffet, uh, which means everything's going to be like normal. You get to help yourself to the ice cream, to the desserts, to all the meats, with the exception of bacon. They're still going to have the bacon police on there, folks. Uh, you know, so obviously if you want more bacon, you can ask for more bacon. Uh, but, you know, that that's great news for the buffet aspect of it, you know, and one less limitation. Uh, just going to show the carnival is trying to give a truly genuine 
uh, cruise experience like it used to be. And because of it being a 95% fully vaccinated cruise, they are able to do that. Uh, on a sad note, Brand Ambassador John Heald today uh, was supposed to fly to the United States, but unfortunately, once he got to the terminal in England, he was denied boarding, um, I guess probably because of the new uh, variant, the Delta variant that is on the uptick here in the United States. So um, let, let's hope that uh, this Delta variant does not cause bigger issues in the days to come and hopefully uh, you know he'll be able to get over here to the United States uh, sooner or later but unfortunately it will not be in time for his uh, cruise out of Galveston on the horizon that he was hoping to do. So if you have any questions about any cruise related topics, please don't hesitate to email me at sandydestinations2019 at gmail.com. Talk to you later and we'll have more cruise news for you tomorrow.